Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And as you can see, we are going up against 8 and 1 Michigan. That's right, 8 and 1. They lost their last game to Penn State actually at home. They lost at home 21 to 31. So Penn State is now 7 and 2. So if we look at the conference standings, we are basically even with Michigan. They're just ranked higher because probably because they started off the year ranked higher. But besides that, we have an opportunity to take over that number one spot in the leaders division. Uh, but we do have a string of games coming up that are pretty tough. Let's just look at Penn State schedule. So they play Ohio State this weekend. So they have a tough game going up this weekend. The 24 ranked Ohio State Maryland goes unranked after losing to us. And let's look at the other side here. Iowa still number 11. They're cruising right now. I think they have kind of an easier schedule than Rondo. They do play Michigan the second to last game, but we are going up against Jim Harbaugh. Let's just look at the rest of these awards here. So Heisman Watch, Devontae Williams is fourth on the list. Jalen Hurts is one right now. Uh, Sam Darnold's two, Jake Browning's three, and then Saquon Barkley rounds out the Heisman candidates. So let's just look at the awards. Let's go to the awards semifinals. Let's just look at those. So, oh, actually, let's go back to that. I just saw a flash across the screen. Crawford gets the defensive player of the NCAA. So he was balling last game. You already know he recovered a fumble, had three picks, a career game for him. Jalen Hurts, he's on the Heisman watch right now. So let's just look at some of the awards here before hopping into this game versus uh, Michigan. So Devontae Williams, six in the Maxwell. Jalen Hurts, he must be having a monster year here. Let's just look at his career. So in 2013, he had 324 pass yards. And this year, he has 2,325 pass yards, 29 pass CDs, four interceptions. So he is absolutely destroying right now. Let's look at his rushing. I know he's got some rush yards. So 552 yards, six rush touchdowns. So he's doing pretty damn good. Uh, in his junior campaign, Sam Darnold right behind him. It's kind of hard to believe that Sam Darnold is only going to be a junior next year. I mean, remember, he was a redshirt uh, freshman when he came onto the scene last season. And now he uh, is going to be, in this dynasty at least, he's a redshirt junior. Let's look at the rest of them. Walter Camp, Jalen Hurts once again first there. But 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 the Bednarik Crawford is there for the number one spot and Riggins is there at three. I'm surprised that Riggins is three. He's not having that great of a season. He's just getting a lot of interceptions in the slot. But Crawford, I, I'm not surprised here, man. Crawford is a straight beast. And then Nagurski, he's first for the Nagurski as well. Man, he is just having a monster year. And he is a senior, so we do need to find a replacement for him, whether it's somebody that's already on our roster that just isn't getting the shine or somebody recruiting Devontae Walker, I mean Devontae Williams, for the Doak Walker Award. That's a pretty big honor there, and that's probably due to the touchdowns he has. Look at the Mackey that goes to the best tight end, Joe Richards, number three. And how is he number three? Let's see. So they have more touchdowns. That's the thing, nine touchdowns, seven touchdowns. He's only got seven, but he's got, he's got more yards than this guy and more receptions than both of them. So uh, he is in the top three. Oh, it looks like... I thought I saw somebody. No, it looks like he might be leading the nation in receptions as far as tight end goes. Let's see if any of our other guys are here uh, for any other awards. So uh, the Thorpe Award, yeah, Crawford. That's no surprise. DeGroza guy. Uh, let's keep going. Best returner, Calvin McDuffie is still number two because this number one guy has more yards. He, I mean, well-deserved. He has more yards, uh, the same amount of touchdowns. So well-deserved for him. But, man, enough, enough of these awards, man. Let's just get into this gameplay going up against Michigan. And this is going to be a big game versus Harbaugh. And we're at home. So let's get it, man. If we win this game, we probably take over as a number one seed in our conference and our division in our conference. So let's get into this, man. Let's get it. So remember what they did to us last season. 41 to nothing. They straight blew us out. But that was before we found our identity but as you can see the first 
carry of the game. We're getting laid out that time by the fullback. That was Crawford. I mean, he got absolutely swept off his feet. But like I said, last year we lost 41 nothing, so we're definitely going to be looking for that revenge. And we're going up against Jim Harbaugh. And I know every coach out there loves to go against Harbaugh because he's the big name. He's the big man on campus. He's the big name in college football. Him and probably like Chip Kelly, Nick Saban, like those type of names, Jimbo Fisher, uh, Dabo Sweeney, like teams love to go against those types of coaches because they got the cachet. They have the big name. You always want to take down a big name. And Jim Harbaugh has probably yet to find his quarterback at Michigan. I mean, he's known as the quarterback guru. I mean, look what he did with Colin Kaepernick. As soon as he left, Kaepernick's career kind of went down. Uh, and then Alex Smith, he actually, people forget, but he took a broken Alex Smith. Remember Alex Smith, like, was with the 49ers, didn't have much success early in his career. Then Harbaugh came there, and he had that big year, but that, that was the year that Kaepernick actually took over for him. So we're going to be looking to get a victory in this one, man, get our payback from last season. As you can see, Ramsey's guiding the offense to a touchdown to tie the game up at seven after the Michigan uh, Wolverines had no problem scoring early on. So here's Spate Bruh. dropping back to pass, and Zeke Walker is going to drop the easy pick. He was sitting there in coverage. But on a second and 10, giving the ball to Higdon, and Higdon is going to break a couple of tackles, get all the way past the 50, finally get taken down at about the 41, 42 yard line, gotcha, but bitch. here we're going to get Spate for the sack. So on a second and 10, another play action. Finding another receiver open. That one's Peoples Jones open for the 12-yard reception. And getting closer to the red zone, their tight ends. I mean, they just have they just have a knack for just having good tight ends. Remember Jake Butt was there. Uh, he actually got drafted by the Broncos, but I remember he tore his ACL in the bowl game, and that was devastating because he was definitely going to be a first-rounder. He dropped all the way to the fifth round. And what's funny about that is that he had an insurance policy out. I think that paid him probably like $30,000 each pick. He was passed uh, up on past the third round. And I think he ended up getting like close to like a million dollars or something like that just off his insurance policy. So that's like crazy. But as you can see, we're getting sacked. This dude, Gary, that they have on the end defensive end position, this dude is so fast. I looked at his uh, speed attribute. It's only 81 speed, but I'm telling you, that game speed is way faster than what he plays. But check a take a look at this play. So they throw the screen pass to the right, and they try to do the same thing again to the left. But this time, I'm going to sniff that one out. I should have had the pick, but nonetheless, I get the fumble recovery that time. Marcelino Ball is in position, drops the pick, but... Anyway, I pick up the fumble, and we take over um, on the other side of the 50. So here our offense comes out 14-7 down, and on a third and seven, trying to get the ball to Wilson, and this time it's going to be picked off. That was supposed to be a timing route, but I saw they sent a blitz, so I hurried up the throw, and that time it's going to be picked off. So we get the, give the ball right back to Michigan, but Spate cannot – Get the first down that one. So on a third and eight, he's dropping back to pass, throwing to the right to his running back, Higdon, and we're going to get them to settle for the field goal. So now it's a 17-7 game here in the second quarter and getting the ball to baby Gronk. Joe Richard, he's had a, quite a couple of weeks, so uh, we're trying to get him the ball. Simi Cobbs has really stepped up recently and pretty much had some big games, and I've been actually looking to get – him more involved because I found out, man, he kills in one-on-one matchups. Speak of the devil, there he goes on the curl route, getting open for a 20-yard reception into their territory. So on a third and eight, Ramsey's going to play action, but that pass rush is too good. It gets in there for the sack, so we do settle for the field goal, cutting it to a seven point lead before half but on the first play of their next possession they throw a pick to to Marcelino Ball Marcelino Ball has been balling 
out these last couple games. Remember, he was started slow. He definitely started slow. Crawford started out fast, and Crawford, I mean, he stays hot, but Marcelino Ball has definitely, uh, you know, carried his weight these last few games. But on a third and nine here in the red zone, finding who else? Simi Cobbs, I'm telling you, man, he's been killing for us the last few games. So now there's 15 seconds left in the quarter, and we find Michael Wilson, the freshman over the middle for the touchdown. So we tie this game up at 17 going into half, and we get ball at half. So now Ramsey is taking over, rolling out to the right, using his legs, getting out of the pocket, and sliding in there. For the first down, so Gary that time, the defense end, could not get to me. But look at him. I mean, they're right on my tail every single play. But this time we find Devontae Williams getting him involved in the passing game. Just look at just look at Gary on the end. I mean, every single play, he's in there. But as you can see, I, sometimes I forget that Ramsey does not have good arm strength. So that time I tried to lob the ball over the top, but... He can't get it to the wide receiver. I should have definitely thrown a bullet there. If he would have had arm strength, he probably would have got it there, but he doesn't. So that's where it hurts me, man. I, I mean, I do like Ramsey as, quarter, as quarterback, but sometimes his arm strength definitely gets me in trouble, forces me to throw interceptions. So we throw the interception here, and they capitalize on the touchdown. So we take over in our own territory on a third and 10, finding Simi Cobbs on another curl route, and Devontae Williams getting the ball past the 50-yard line. So on a second and four, towards the middle of the third quarter, Ram's going to drop back, find an open Wilson over the middle. So now we are almost in field goal range, dropping back, finding. Uh, that one's going to be just Sean Harris on the outside for the 12-yard reception. And on a slant pattern, Timian, our slot receiver, is going to be playing on the outside on that one get in for the first down so on a second and goal we get into the goal line and Peyton Ramsey runs it in from the one and just like that we're going back and forth with Michigan and trying to get that revenge from last year so Spate is going to take over with the offense and he's going to throw a short pass to Peoples Jones but that's not enough for the first down so on a third and three they attempt to throw it to the tight end but Zeke Walker is there to break up the pass, so we force the punt. So at the end of the third quarter, we're going to run a triple option, get it out to Devontae Williams, make a move. He's going to get up to almost the 40-yard line on an 11-yard rush. So on a first and 10, Ramsey is going to do another triple option to the right, and Devontae Williams getting it going now. And Devontae Williams has just been pretty hot the last couple games. I mean, honestly... I've been using him in the passing game more, as you can see on the swing pass there. And he's a valuable asset. I mean, he just he's just valuable. I'm going to miss him, man. He's got 94 carrying. You notice he hasn't fumbled at all. It's because he's got that 94 carrying. He's super, super reliable. So here we are, man. Now it's uh, getting in crunch time towards the end of the fourth quarter, giving the ball to uh, – Ramsey there he's keeping it on the option so Williams on a halfback screen he is a monster getting in for the touchdown take another look Devontae Williams and I'm telling you getting him involved in the passing game is definitely a plus to our team because he adds another element that we didn't have Bruh. before, but as you can see, the Michigan Wolverines are going deep, trying to get back into this game, but on a third and four, they attempt to pitch the ball to Evans. That time, the All-American Crawford is going to get in for the stop, so they we force them to punt, and Peyton Ramsey with the clutch throw here on third down, throwing it to the outside receiver, tiptoeing Michael Wilson on the sideline. So we're going to be just looking to run this clock. As you can see, there's two minutes left in this game on a third and five, finding Joe Richard. But look at that. He drops it on the sideline. So we try to kick the field goal. But that one is going to be missed. So the Michigan Wolverines take over. And that could have sealed it for us. Crawford drops a pick. And that definitely would have been epic because that man's been on a tear with these interceptions 
but Michigan's drive stays alive on a second and four. Spate is going to drop back, find his tight end here. So on a third and one, they go to the line, hurry up to the line, and look at what Spate does. He throws the ball. It slips out of his hands. Take another look. It slips out of his hands. That probably should have been a fumble. So they're ha they have to go for it here on a fourth down, and they run it with Higdon, and Higdon cannot – get to the first down marker and that's gonna do it we get our revenge versus michigan went from 41 nothing 34 it's 31 to 24 and we upset michigan i guess it's an upset since they're ranked higher than us but we take over that number one spot in our division and simi cobbs another good game 93 yards receiving and Marcelino Ball, I mean, I can't say enough about the play that he's had lately, and Crawford does his thing as usual, so hit subscribe, hit that like button, man. We got another tough matchup next week going up against Ohio State, so let's get it. Let's keep this win streak going.